This film is intended for adult audiences. Your discretion is strongly advised. Now, for the first time, we are exploring a new territory. This is a new discovery for the famous marine biologist, Jacques Cousteau. You are a voyeur. Now we are going down, down, down. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Directed by Fernando Marils, The Constant Gardener, 2005, is a gripping thriller that delves into the complexities of corporate greed, corruption, and love amidst the backdrop of Africa. Starring Ralph Fiennes as Justin Quayle, a reserved British diplomat stationed in Kenya, and Rachel Wise as Tessa, his activist and adventurous wife. That's so nice. Isn't it beautiful? Their life unfolds amidst the stunning landscapes and complex challenges of this East African nation. Top 5 Pros Gripping Mystery A seemingly ordinary event sparks a web of intrigue as Justin finds himself drawn into a labyrinth and conspiracy. Corporate greed, pharmaceutical trials, and political corruption intertwine, keeping you guessing until the very end. Those emails from Tess, Guido, help me with them. Company stuff, boring. Mm, ownership, franchises, that sort of thing. Trying to find out who brokered the marriage. What marriage? KDH and three Bs. KDH make Dipraxa. Three Bs tested. It's a marriage of convenience, of course. Both in it for what they can get out of it. But that phrase about the marriage, is that Tessa's phrase or yours? Oh, hers. Hers. Compelling characters. Fines delivers a nuanced performance as Justin, his transformation from a bureaucratic diplomat to a tenacious truth seeker. Wise shines as Tessa, her infectious passion and unwavering commitment leaving a lasting mark. I know all your secrets, Tessa. I think I understand you now. Excuse me? Excuse me? Yes? Excuse me? Yes, so I've just sorry. got one question. I just wondered, whose map um, is Britain using when it completely ignores the United Nations and decides to invade Iraq? <laughs> or or do, you, do you think it's more diplomatic to bend the will of a superpower and, and politely take part in Vietnam, the sequel? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I, I can't speak for Sir Bernard. Oh, I thought that's why you were here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, diplomats have to go where they're sent. So do Labradors. Oh. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> A haunting setting. Kenya isn't just a backdrop, it's a vital character. The film masterfully captures its beauty and vulnerability, immersing you in the reality where poverty and exploitation mingle with breathtaking landscapes. Tribesmen, nasty. They steal cattle, food, children. I think maybe we should leave. Did you testify on tape? She was a very persuasive woman, your wife, Mr. Quayle. And now I do not have the type. They took the type. But you kept a copy of the report, yes? Yes, I did. You're welcome to it. We can still make it. What were Tessa and Blue doing at Lake Takana? Are you crazy? We've got to get out of here, man. I mean, these people, they kill anybody. Sorry. Ah! Thoughtful exploration of themes. The Constant Garden of tackles complex themes such as social injustice, the exploitation of vulnerable communities, and the consequences of unchecked power. The film's nuanced approach prompts reflection on these issues without resorting to heavy-handedness, sparking meaningful conversations long after the credits roll. Do you no good to go poking around under rocks, Justin? Some very nasty things live under rocks especially in foreign gardens. Advice of a friend. What is it that I'm not to look into, Bernard? Quails have always made reliable foreign service men. Shouldn't be surprised if you've still got a small head of mission in your knapsack. Challenging post. More challenging than dealing with Kenny Curtis. 
He's a crude sort of chap, our Kenny, but he flies the flag for us. He got up. Dear Tessa's nose, I fear. Yes, she wrote a report about it. About Kenny? No, about Dipraxa. Ah, ah. She expected some action to be taken, but none was, was it? Stunning cinematography. The film is visually stunning, with breathtaking shots of the African landscape that serve as a striking backdrop to the narrative. Merrill's skilled direction combined with the cinematography creates a visually immersive experience that enhances the storytelling. Look, I am ravenous. Have you had lunch? Uh, yes, I have. A very civilized lunch with Bernard Pellegrin. Top 5 Cons Dynamic handheld cinematography. Thank you. The film's frequent use of dynamic handheld camera work may pose a challenge for viewers sensitive to motion sickness, potentially detracting from their immersion in the story. While this style can enhance the immediacy and intensity of certain scenes, its kinetic nature might lead to discomfort or disorientation for some audience members. subject matter. The film portrays the harsh realities of poverty, exploitation, and violence. While handled responsibly, these themes can be difficult to watch and may not be suitable for all audiences. It is my sad duty to inform you that Dr. Bloom has been found. I'll spare you the details. Suffice to say, the poor fellow seems to have been tortured to death, which would seem to exonerate him. See. So what's the new theory, that he tortured himself to death? That'd save you looking for anyone else, wouldn't it? Moving on. Pacing issues. Kenny, I can't discuss this on the phone. While the film is engrossing overall, there are moments where the pacing feels uneven, leading to occasional dips in momentum. Some scenes linger longer than necessary, disrupting the flow of the narrative and potentially testing the patience of viewers. I'm having trouble with 3B, Sandy. Kenny being Kenny. Oh. Nothing to do with my report, then. Oh, he's just ranting. Oh, Sandy, you promised me you were going to do something. I sent your report to London. Really? Yes. To Pellegrin? Yes. And? There was no official response. Well, what was there, then? Well, just a personal letter, that's all. Say? It's private. What do you mean, it's private? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I sent him an official document. I'm going to have to call Pellegrin and ask him. No, no, no. Don't do that, that's all. Why? It's serious. You know me well enough to know that I'm not going to take no for an answer. Come on. That's all. I'm supposed to keep an eye on you. What? Put where you are. What you're doing. Trust me, Tessa. This is something that you should not pursue. I say that as a friend who cares deeply for you. Sandy? Oh, Tessa. Hi, Gloria. I was wondering where you'd got to. Dense political landscape. The film delves into intricate political and corporate machinations, which can be challenging to follow for viewers unfamiliar with the specific context. Don't even think about bullying me, old man. I'm not a member of your gentleman's club. I don't have to play by the rules. So it seems. Call that one in, shall we? <laughs> Mr. Curtis, I'm sorry to disturb your game. My name is Justin Quayle from the High Commission. I believe you knew my wife, Tessa. Justin, didn't know you remember here. I submitted one of your parties. She came to see you, I think. She gave you a report that she'd written. On Dipraxa. Justin, I really don't think this is the time or the place. I hope you didn't find it too troublesome because she could be a, a terrier when she had a scent. <laughs> Sounds like you're describing a b I'm sorry about your loss. But I don't remember being given any report. Oh, that's odd because she noted it in her diary. Then you know more than I do. Didn't know, uh... Didn't know Tessa kept a diary. 
Well, I think Tessa was right then, Tim. You don't know everything. I know where you're going on Tuesday. Unflinching ending. The resolution is neither tidy nor cathartic. It leaves room for interpretation, but may disappoint viewers seeking a clear-cut conclusion or emotional closure. Wherever you are, don't take kindly to being blackmailed. Christ, how did you get here? Safari tour. Via Paris. Hunting me now, Justin? You're the one on the run. I loved her. I'm not ashamed of it. Nor should you be, if it were true. Not for you to tell me how I felt. If you've read that, you'll see that I let her read something she shouldn't. Yeah, a letter from Pellegrin. She trusted you. What do you want for that? I want to know why Pellegrin suppressed Tessa's report. It was him, wasn't it? Don't try and play detective. Three Bs, KDH, Dipraxa. What's the story on that axis of evil? KDH is Swiss-Canadian. So why are we involved? Reading 8 out of 10, The Constant Gardener is not a popcorn thriller. It's a complex and challenging film that demands your attention and rewards it with a thought-provoking story, impactful performances, and powerful social commentary. She's under there. Covered in quicklime. Her and 62 others who never officially existed. Dipraxa. Yeah. This film is not for everyone, but if you appreciate slow burn narratives, morally ambiguous characters, and socially relevant stories, then The Constant Gardener is a must watch. And why are you showing me this? Let's just say if I'm going to the wall, I want a trophy. Oh.